This is the local TV station. Much the same as ours, uh, except you can take rides to the top and have things like savoury snails on toast at the outdoor restaurant. The view is breathtaking. And not unlike our own Bulleye Pass, as many of the local French point out to me. Across Australia, it's time to plunge headlong into that stagnant pool they call television. And now, putting the alien into Australian content, here's Norman! Thank you. You're wonderful. What a loyal audience. Coming all the way in here from the furthest reaches of their street directory. <laughs> oh, it's worth it, but laughs. You'll feel more drained than after a blood donation. <laughs> uh, I'll just stay in here for a bit longer, if you don't mind, but here, yeah, I'm starting to suffer from it, you know. End of series tonight, show withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> I'm trying immersion therapy. Auntie Celeste from Austin here reckons that cold baths take your mind off almost anything. <laughs> hey, gee, she's right, too. I've forgotten half the show already. <laughs> oh, yeah! Bringing the show screaming to a celebrity pit stop. Put your hands together for Australia's Jack Brabham, Mr. Jack Brabham! <laughs> I think he's playing a trick on me. Hi, <laughs> there. Hi, Mr. Brabham. I hope you didn't drive yourself in. That's no reflection on your own driving, I hope. Well, actually, I was escorted in and I got oh, lost. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm sorry about that. You know, we do employ cretins. <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, it is a show that swallows its pride and treats everyone as equals. If you'd just like to sit down here somewhere, Mr. Bradham. Yeah. I'd um, like me to come in there with you. Well, did you bring your togs? No, I didn't know you were going to be in there. Oh, of course. Didn't you, haven't you seen the show before? No. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Um, there's a, oh, look, I've got water all over it. There's a copy of my book there for you. Oh, yeah. um, oh, don't start reading it now, but because I want you to concentrate on your in-depth answers, you know? Oh, I see. Mr. Brabham, you, uh, you had retired. Why have you gone back to driving? Uh, is it because uh, the Medibank levy was eating into your pension, or what? I just couldn't stand retirement. Couldn't you? No. I see. Well, what, uh, what made you start uh, racing in the first place? Were, like, um, were you a taxi driver? <laughs> you know, and got a lot of uh, pregnant women passengers, that sort of thing. No, I didn't have to go in a hurry like that, really, oh. but uh, I started off working uh, as a mechanic, as a matter of fact. Did you? Yeah, fiddling underneath the bonnet. Oh, I see. And I got sick of that and then decided I'd like to have a go behind the wheel, see? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, it's, do you ever get spoiled, do you think, by the pit service, by the mechanics always, you know, treating you really well? Look, I mean, if you if you come out on a rainy morning and your car was broken down, what would you do? Fix it myself. Oh, would you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I suppose you'd know someone high up in the NRMA, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were you into racing when you were a school kid? Um, no, 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 no. Really, no. Not the first one with a billy cart with mag wheels well, or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I've done a bit of billy karting. Yeah. But uh, I used to sneak my father's car occasionally when they weren't looking. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> you, you never played chicken butt, did you, as a teenager? Oh, no. no, I didn't get... Uh, that, uh, actually, wait until you grew up. Well, I was, uh, <laughs> I was very early on... Uh, you know, I'm a bit older than the days. The chicken business only come the last few years, hasn't it? Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, no, when I was a teenager, you know, not that long ago, you know. Didn't it? About, you know, 20, 25 years ago, you know, about then. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Why do they call some patches of the driving racing circuit? Why do they call them horror stretches? Horror stretches? Yeah. Um, I, th I think that's probably the exciting stretch. What is it? They call it a uh, horror stretch. Yeah, that's the one that the drivers really love to uh, try and do best at. As a horror stretch. Oh, so we had those in the Red X trial, for instance. Yeah. The horror stretch. Is it not like where a guy jumps out of the bushes and tries to frighten you? <laughs> you know, like on the ghost train. Yeah. No, no, no. I thought it might have been like that. What's the fastest you've ever driven, then? Um, about uh, 215 miles an hour. Oh. 
Oh, gee, that's pretty fast, isn't it? Mm. I went 40 miles spread out Bull Eye Pass once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The well, brakes collapsed, so they Well, are... I would have gone faster, but I, I always drive with a handbrake on for safety. <laughs> 215 miles per hour. Yeah. Gee whiz. Well, what goes through, what races through your mind when you're driving at 215 miles per hour? I mean, you know, apart from, gee, I wonder what this is in kilometres, you know? <laughs> Well, actually, I was concentrating mainly on keeping on the track. Oh, do you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be awful if a blowy got in or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> must be a terrific, a terrific feeling at the end of a, you know, a gruelling Grand Prix when they put the flowers, the garden, the flowers around your neck, you know, and you're drinking out of the... You know, champagne out of the cup and everything. <laughs> it's like an evening on a shot of Rostavelli. <laughs> <laughs> You've won a couple of Grand Prix, haven't you? I have won it too, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> must be a fabulous feeling. Um, the racing cars are different, but now, you know, aren't they, like... They're much smaller than, than, like, when you were, you know, doing the Red X and all that sort of thing. Well, yeah, they're like a small aeroplane that won't take off. Yeah, yeah. Well, where do you put the, you know, tapes for cassette deck and the dog with a model? <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't really got room for those anymore. No, it's a terrible no, we shame, isn't those it? Out. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever thought, this is just a tip, you know, but have you ever thought you could, you could cheat and you could get free service in a petrol station, you know, by racing in with a helmet on and saying, quick, quick! <laughs> have you ever tried that? As a matter of fact, I did once, yes. Aha! Yeah! <laughs> it happened in Italy. It couldn't happen anywhere else, but uh, yeah. I was actually racing in Italy on a road circuit, and I ran out of petrol with my second last lap. Yeah. And I rolled into a service station, and that's exactly what happened. The chap there rushed around <laughs> like something stung, actually, as yeah. if I was going to lose the race. Okay. And actually put petrol in my car, and I drove to the finishing line. <laughs> you got hairs on your back or anything like that? Oh, yes. Well, he might have thought you were Italian, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, racing has got that Dolce Vita sort of, you know, fantastic image, hasn't it? Do you think that you've done anything to contribute to that? Um, well, I've enjoyed myself. Have you? Yeah, I've had a terrific time racing. I really have. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like it'd be good fun. <clears throat> I'm sort of known as the Jack Brabham of the Tonight Show circuit. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <clears throat> Do you use any sort of... Uh... Oh, you're famous for Formula One driving, aren't you? Or I weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a secret formula? <laughs> like if I got onto it, would I be famous? I think it would, if, particularly if you could win. Yeah, you win, yeah. you'd be famous. Yeah, yeah. Sure. What is it? Is it a special, special petrol or something like that? Is it? Um, Do you use a special petrol? No, we just used ordinary petrol, the same as everybody uses in the street. Really? Mm. Mm. That's all we were allowed to use. It was a regulation. Oh, was it? Yeah. Because I tried using lighter fluid in my car, like, <laughs> or Mayflower, you know. And what? It burst in the flame. No, it didn't. Didn't make any difference. So. Didn't it? No. The light will work better afterwards, but... <laughs> <clears throat> How do you find driving in America, racing in America? Racing in America? Mm. Um, no different to racing anywhere re else, really. Well, they drive on the different side of the road, you know. No, we're not racing. Oh, don't they? No, oh. we don't take any notice of which side of the road you drive on. Oh, really? That's what the Olympic sprinters tried to use an excuse when they came back, you know? Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it could what be right. Yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, them a little bit. Would you like a uh, Southern Comfort or anything like that, or a South Coast Comfort? <laughs> anything to drink? Actually, I've got to be careful, because if I splash it and get chlorine in it, it can make you chuck, you know? <laughs> leaves, leaves terrible stains all over the sea grass matting in the cabana, you know? Won't come out with washing or anything. Oh, I see. Nothing to drink? Well, um, what have you got there? Well, would that, you like a chip? What's that greeny looking stuff? Oh, it's, uh, it's GR Lime Cordial. Is it? Actually, <laughs> no, it's not. We've got mine all this week. It's very have good, you? though. Yeah. Right. Oh, it is GR. Yeah, I'll try some of that. OK, if you'd just like to have right. a sip. In fact, I'd have a potato chip, only it's fattening. Is it? Yeah, Are I've got to watch my uh, Are you diet for the race, you see. Oh, I see. You're mm. racing with Mr Sterling Moss That's too, right, aren't yeah. you? Because mm. mm. um, he's only a little chap, you see, and he's only light, so I don't want to upset the balance of the car. Uh, he hasn't raced for a long time either, has he? No. I hope he's long not rusty time. on his gear changes or anything like that, you know. <laughs> it must have been a great honour for you uh, to be on This Is Your Life. Did you enjoy that? Yes, I did, did enjoy you? it, yes. Yeah. Um, I don't think it'd be the same without Mr. Mike Willisie doing it, you know. I just, I don't know, I just no, don't think it'd be the same, him. yeah. They didn't happen to mention you any forthcoming guests that were going to be on the show, did they? <laughs> 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 Wouldn't mind if he could drop yeah. mine up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jack Brabham! <laughs>